All right, y'all. So these are the mashed potatoes that we're going to do, and they feel like they're little, like little fingerling size chunks. And then these are the meatballs. So we're gonna go into the kitchen and get these ready. All right. Okay, y'all. So I'm cooking my pan. This is the pan that I'm using, my Pioneer Woman pan. Okay, cookware. Doing pretty good. As you can see, I've been having this for a while. There's no scratches in this pan. The bottom, I just need to get the stuff to clean the bottom. I gotta grab that stuff. Somebody was telling me the other day what I need to Borax, something like that. If you know what it is, put it in the comments down below. But yes, yeah, so we're going to clean this because this is what we're going to cook the meatballs in. Okay, so stay tuned. Let me get this ready. So that is the ingredients for those who want to know. Okay, that is the ingredients. All right, I hope you can read that. Okay, try to make that as clear as possible. This is the amount of fat and all of that stuff. Okay, so we don't need to add no more salt or anything. You don't add nothing to this. Strictly, just what it is. Now, contains way, wait a minute. Part of the U.S. storage, keep frozen, preparation. All right, here we go with the preparation, okay? So let's get a little closer. Prepare from frozen. Oven, preheat the oven to 450. Place the meatballs in an oven-proof dish. Heat for about 15 minutes. Microwave 700 watt, 15 meatballs. Okay, so I don't even have to put this on top of the stove, which is amazing. So what we're gonna do, I'm going to get a dish and I'm going to heat the oven. Now what we can do is use that pan that I just did for the, because I want to cook this exactly the way that they say cook it to see if I later on when I get it again, if I want to do anything different, I can. But right now we're going to do exactly what the bag says, okay? So this is a product of Belgium. This is a product of Sweden, okay? So the potatoes are from Belgium. Preparation, prepare from frozen for an extra choice. Heat the content in the bag in a saucepan and stir frequently for nine minutes. So don't heat it in the bag, okay? You're gonna take it out. And what it says for extra smooth, you're gonna add either water or milk and it'll get extra smooth. So that is what we're gonna do here, okay? So that is what they look like, interesting. So I'm, what, I'm, what I said I was deciding to do is I'm going to, I'm going to cook them the exact way that they say to prepare it because that gives me the, the um, opportunity that if later on when I do go and purchase it again, if I see I need to enhance it my own way or do it my own way, then I'll know what I need to do, okay? So we're gonna really have to let these sit in here. And I'm gonna pour a little milk on it like it says that I can do. And we're gonna see where it goes from here. So let's just let this come together a little bit. Uh, then I'll add a little bit of the organic low-fat milk, just a tiny bit, and uh, we'll see where that goes, okay? So let's get to the meatballs, stay tuned. All right, after I do the, um, um, once everything comes together with the mashed potatoes, this is what we're gonna do, the savory sauce, okay? This is a savory sauce mix that when you go to Ikea, that delicious sauce mix, and this is what we're going to do, okay? And let's see, that's what it says is all in the ingredients and that information and preparation. All right, y'all, so this, so the mashed potatoes, they are breaking up a little bit at the bottom. As you can see, they're breaking up, there we go. All right, y'all, so this is the stage. They're smashing, they're getting nice and beginning to come together. I just put a little bit in my mouth you do not need to add no sodium to this because these are very flavorful enough, I believe, um, to this. But I mean, it's up to you how you want to doctor it up. But I'm watching the sodium intake and it's already flavorful. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of milk. I'm just going to eye it. Just a little bit because you don't want to add too much because you can't. I only have one packet. <laughs> so I'm going to start with a little bit and see what that does. All right, you guys, I just added a tiny bit more milk. This is up to the person. You have to just keep going until you like the consistency. Let's get all of that nice and creamy and hot. <laughs> all right, you all, so that is what the potatoes look like. 
they're nice and creamy and fluffy and ready to go i'm going to taste that i will not double dip but i'm going to cover this and put this over on the table and let me tell y'all <laughs> this is to the t like ikea in the restaurant that's why i tell you try it first at home without adding anything to it just to see if this is if it's really like how ikea says says it is all right you all so we have the meatballs here and i'm just going to put them in so they always look like they've been branded so I'm take some of these i'm just going to fill this entire dish with it it is a lot of meatballs and it says that it just wants it in an oven safe pan. So I'm gonna try to layer them just like so. Because Joshua is probably gonna eat more of these meatballs than we do and then we can have some left over. Okay, we got how many in a row? So we got five in a row. Six going across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One thing we forgot about you all, um, at, um, Ikea, they also serve garlic bread. My family and I always get the garlic bread, so we do have the garlic bread. I forgot about that. I'm going to go put the in the oven. The meatballs are still cooking, so we're still good, okay? So stay tuned. Yes, let's put this on the, oh my gosh, you guys, these are so hot. They just came out. They smell so wonderful. And we're gonna put them on a rack instead of putting them directly on a hot surface. So now, we're gonna let these cool off because they're too hot. And then I'm gonna put them in their little dish, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, you all, we have, I have my faithful saucepan. So what we're gonna do is pour the contents in here. Okay, so we have that in there like so. We have, it says one and one fourth cup of cold water. So we have one cup here and you wanna make sure you start whisking. And then it says, bring it to a boil. So this is what you do, listen to me. You're gonna add the one and one fourth cup of water first. You let that come to the boil, then you add the sauce mix, okay? I did not do that right, so that's what you do. We're gonna hope this comes out perfect, all right? Okay, so then after it becomes, it boils, and then you're whisking, okay? It says bring to a boil. You're gonna add one teaspoon plus three tablespoons of heavy cream and let it simmer for three minutes, okay? All right, you all, so it's coming to a boil, and on its own, without the cream, it's pretty thick, so it's up to you how you want it. I don't know how, how thick they want this sauce. This is the heavy cream that I am using, and I'm just going to pour that in, like so. So we're gonna let this simmer, so we're gonna turn this down, and let this simmer, and it shouldn't take long. That looks like that's done to me, y'all. Okay, you guys, so it browns really nice in here. So I'm putting that on this, and we're gonna take it to the table. Okay, so stay tuned. Delicious meatballs. I covered this so it doesn't get a film over it. So this is it, the cake is done. Isn't that beautiful? That is so pretty. And we're gonna put that here. And now all we're gonna do, I'm gonna move this over and I'm adding broccoli. And we're doing our garlic bread, y'all, and we'll be ready to eat, so stay tuned. All right, y'all, so we have our garlic bread here. Um, and it's delicious, so I'm about to cut it, so stay tuned. Okay, you all, so we are done. So excited. So let me tell you what, we're gonna do a taste test, but we're gonna eat first and then I'll do the taste test of the sweets from Trader Joe's, okay, you guys? So we have the delicious um, meatballs with some steamed broccoli. We have the delicious mashed potatoes and look how thick those potatoes are. We have the lovely gravy here, you all. We have the lingonberry jam here. We've got some grapes, some strawberries, that beautiful um, blueberry goat cheese. We have the brie, crackers, some um, pepperoni, some apples, a little bit more grapes. We have the, the pineapple passion fruit jam, that beautiful cake, we have these lovely raspberries, little cakes we're gonna taste for you all. And then all of these we're gonna do the taste test after dinner, okay? And then we added some beautiful garlic bread. I'm so excited about these Ikea meatballs, y'all. So I'm gonna get a few of these, maybe about four, y'all. I'm gonna load my plate with some of these meatballs. Okay, so delicious. And then we have these delicious mashed potatoes here, okay? Gonna see how these mashed potatoes, they look just exactly like the mashed potatoes. At so I'm just gonna get a little bit. Okay. I mean they stick to the <laughs> they stick. 
And then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get me a few pieces of broccoli here. Okay, I love my fresh broccoli. That's how they do it, they lightly steam the broccoli. We wanna make sure we have some veggies on the plate. There we go. And then the next thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna add this delicious gravy. So let me pull this gravy over. So we're gonna go ahead on and add some of that gravy. It's still hot. Ooh. Steaming hot. If y'all can see the steam from that gravy. Still steaming hot. I'm gonna add a little bit of gravy on top. Everybody's waiting to. <laughs> All right, just like so. And then what we're going to do, we're going to add this delicious berry sauce. Just like so, y'all. Just enough for me. All right, Josh was grabbing his plate. So that is the at home. Y'all dig in. That is the at home Ikea, you guys. This is so delicious. So now let's go in. Let's try the mashed potatoes first. Oh, Ikea all day. Now let's try these meatballs. Go to Ikea for what? <laughs> oh my goodness. And then if you do the meatball, I like to do a little mixture of all three. Okay, you guys, there we go. Look at that bite, y'all. So here we go. Mmm. And then of course, the nicely, nicely, not so overdone, lightly steamed. Fantastic, okay, you all? This tastes exactly like Ikea. You will not be disappointed if you go inside the store. The gravy is amazing. The mashed potatoes are amazing. I didn't add no butter, no sodium, or nothing to this. Um, these are great in the oven. You don't have to stand at the stove and flip it. Perfect like that. Would go do good in the air fryer too as well. They'll probably be a little bit more crunchier. But I like mine. It's the exact same texture, it's texture as the store. The lingonberry is fantastic. Oh, and I forgot I'm going to do a little bit of garlic bread because that is what they usually do. So we're going to put that garlic bread on the side. And I am done. All right, you guys. So we're going to eat dinner. And then we'll do this. We'll do a taste test for you all here. All right? So stay tuned.